inch of the edge. Yep. I got no backside deformation. It might have glanced off upwards. It's hard to tell because I don't see the actual round. It definitely didn't go through. There's nothing. If you look at the back, there's the Aluma ceramic plate falling out. So it made it through the ceramic plate part, didn't even penetrate any of the layers of Denema behind it. And a soft armor might have caught just a little bit of spall or something from the plate, but it looks like just the, uh, kind of the Kevlar looks like it's actually cut. Alright, so. right, back up. Alright, this one completely captured in the plate. We got a little bit of backside deformation, less than probably a quarter inch. Looks a little swollen. Yep. You can see the round went in. Did not penetrate. Did not penetrate. We've got a little bit of swelling. Just run your hand across it. Yep. A little you can bump. feel where it hit, but it didn't penetrate. There was noticeable sparking. However, again, I don't think it penetrated. A little bit of back base deformation, a little bit of bulger. Hold it up so I can see the side blade. Side blade. Yep. The corner pretty clearly swollen. Yeah. That helps. Looks you like know. the. Uh, yeah. The, Whatever the ballistic nylon, nylon material is starting to separate. Don't peel it off, just leave it on there. Again though, doesn't appear to... Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? No sign of any penetration on any round yet. Okay, so that was... 308. What round was that? Do you know? 168 grain quantity, Amax. Excellent. A little more deformation of the plate, more swelling, back base deformation. Yep. A little nope. bit out to the side. Yep, no penetration. No penetration on the front. We've got so, a lot of stuff that's come out. Here's the base of the bullet. Oh, yeah. came out with the... Yep. You can see right where the center of the bullet hit because it's fractured from that point out. Yeah. Yep. The plate's still solid. There's no flex to the plate after one, two, three, four, four, two, two, three, and one, three, oh, eight. Do you feel any movement at all? There's a little bit of crunching up here, but I think that's because there's part of the ceramic caught under the, the nylon. Okay. But there's no give to the plate. Excellent. I hit it with one more? Yeah, let's hit it with one more right next to it. Sounds good. Let's see what happens. Again, now here you can see that a lot of the ceramic ejected out the front from the crater. Another quantity, 168 grain. Again, plate is still intact. There's no side to side or top to bottom flexing. All right, that was what round? 180 grain. Soft point, 300 wind mag, 25 yards. We've got serious backside deformation, no penetration, no marks on the body armor. Take a look at the hole. You can see it made it into the soft armor behind the ceramic plate because this is all actually, it won't fall out, it's actually held on. Um, there's a lot of the plate that's actually missing, the ceramic. The plate's still solid though. It won't flex in either direction. Hold it up at this angle so I can see. Pretty serious back face deformation there. You can see that's at but least half an inch. It's the thick, it's as much as double the inside the curve. Yeah. Um, but you're looking at a round that this plate's never, I mean, it's never been tested against, at least not for not any that we know of. level four testing. So, set this back up, figure out what else we want to shoot with.
That's impressive. That's pretty cool. So that was a one ounce slug from a 12 gauge at, at 15, 15, 15 yards. yards. Serious deformation, a lot of deformation but zero penetration. About the same as what the 300 made. You can see the impact on the vest there. Yep. You can still see where it hit. But besides a whole bunch, you can see particles of lead too from the slug. It's all broken apart in there. Okay, so we just shot it again in the bottom right hand corner with the 300 Winchester Magnum. 25 yards, 180 grain Winchester soft point. Backside deformation. Plates more than twice its normal thickness, but no yeah, penetration. We're getting enough impact with the backside deformation that against the rocks and the sandbag are getting tearing on the back. We've actually torn through the material on the sandbag and we got rocks falling out, but we're still not getting any actual penetration from the bolt. Okay, so this was. So we had one, two, three, four. XM193s on top of each other, all within two inches. The plate is well more than double the thickness, probably closer to three times. And the fourth round was the one that penetrated? The fourth round was the first one that penetrated. We pretty much thought it would because there was no ceramic in front of it. All that was left was the Kevlar or uh, Denim or whatever this soft fabric is. First round was a little low, but I'd say those other, the second two were almost right on top of each okay, other. Okay, so then that was also... That was just from the last round going through. We've got a clean Right at the top of this, and this is a 3A plate or a 2? Yeah, I'm guessing, I don't know. It feels like a level 2. It yeah. feels a little, so yep. Okay, so this is another hit of XM193 to the right and left of center after we had the compromise and the, the actual penetration. Still only have one penetration. A little bit of backside deformation over here. You can see the plates completely coming apart now. And you can see in between the layers. Here's the ceramic layer, here's the polyethylene. This side's not coming apart quite as bad on this corner. Still no penetration here. A lot of backside deformation. We've got pieces of ceramic here, but that's just coming out of the top of the plate and falling on it. Still no penetrations to this. Twist, try to twist it, see, if, see how it feels at the top. There's a lot of, a lot of movement to it. at the top. Of course, I mean, we, we know that it's compromised. You can feel it's cracked all the way across here because this whole corner will flex now. Okay. But and there's pretty much no ceramic left in this corner. Right. Which okay. is probably where some of these bigger chunks. Have come yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Go right on the edge as much as you can with the 223. Sure. And then I'll try with the 308 at the bottom. All right. All right. So it's hard to tell. Let me see face on first. Okay. As you can see. Because it's so close to the edge, it had to have hit very close to where my finger is now. Yep. It was within the edge. So, we've got a lot of the ceramic is broken apart or missing. Turn that off. It's hard to see. You bet, yeah. Didn't penetrate the layers of Kevlar or whatever their backing material is here either. There's a lot of destruction here, but that's all from spalling. Because no if you look on the back, there's no penetration. So having your 3A armor under this would have been key for this one because it would have saved you from any of that spalling. Yep. Yep. So that's a that was essentially a, a direct, like complete yeah. edge shot. Yeah. I mean, you're you're looking a quarter inch, maybe slightly more, maybe three eighths of an inch from the edge, and that was uh, uh, M855, so the green tip, and still had no penetration. So that was 308. Now this plate has been shot a lot. Okay, uh, we know that it's already been compromised once. We have an edge shot that was already compromised. Possibly edge shot. Serious back face deformation. I don't think this could take another round. It didn't penetrate? It didn't penetrate, but it has split yeah. the Kevlar backing. There's so much trauma to that. The, uh, wow. Put the soft vest behind it. Put your hand right there. It's warm. Yeah, very warm. It's pointy. Soft. Nah, it's still hard. But it's still hard, but I don't know that it would take another one. I hit. don't think it would take another one in the same exact spot. No. If you want to hit it again, hit it real close. Okay. I wouldn't do it in the exact same spot. I don't think... I, I don't mean, think there's a point, yeah. No, it'll go. It's the depth... I can hit it right here. Hit it there, there.